Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tara. Hope everybody's well. I have not been up long, <laughs> but I have a ton of readings to try to get done today, so I figured I'd get an early start before I woke up the little man. All right, Cancer, we're going to throw him down for you. This reading will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do if you choose to do the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, hey, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising or Venus sign readings. You think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. But with mind, time, and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Energy friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fire Star and Tarot Table. Everybody's always welcome at my table. And I appreciate everybody stopping by. If you're new here, think we might vibe and get along, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you're returning, welcome back. It's always nice to see a familiar face. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel. It all helps the videos to be circulated to those who might need the messages. Before I invoke the cards and throw them down, it looks like there's only one card to go over. Queen Swords popped out. You could be dealing with an air sign. Hmm... You could have air in your charts. For me, this is screaming something about an honest conversation. I don't know who's going to initiate it, but there may be something coming up in somebody's future. Honest communication. All right. Let's get invoked. One more good shuffle. Throw them down for you for December, Cancer. All right. Super dark. I apologize. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for December 2021. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me this morning. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring cancer to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Oh, boy. Magician reversed. Ten of Wands reversed. something unable to manifest because a burden has not been released possibly throw some more clarifiers on it that's just first blush see what else comes out things not coming together negative energy possibly a lack of patience could be Sagittarius you're dealing with or disconnecting from the Ten of Wands and Temperance are both cards of Sagittarius. Two Cups reversed, it's a card of Cancer. Disconnect, disconnect. Or something new not coming together. The Moon, card of Pisces. Smoke and mirrors, lies and deception, lack of clarity. <sighs> Not having the answers. Magician's a card of Aries. I'm just shouting out signs. If you can pick something up, cool. If not getting anything out of that, don't worry about it. Zodiac signs aren't important. It is the energies coming off the card. Why is it happening? Four cups reversed, the full reversed, Knight of Swords. Standoffish energy, also a card of Cancer. Another Aries card with the full reversed, another air sign card. Knight of Swords. 
communication. Alright, let's get this out of the way. What? The outcome. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is in the reverse. Finally, Earth decides to show up. Capricorn. No, get down. Capricorn, Taurus. Things coming together, but the make or break is someone coming in out of the cold. The long dark winter ending. Wheel of Fortune reversed at the bottom of the deck. Unfinished business. <laughs> Probably what I'll call this unfinished business. You guys, you gotta finish your business up before you move on to something new. High Priestess decided she wanted to come out without intention. I'm gonna leave her on the board and. Could be a divine connection. Aries, Taurus, Pisces, the full reversed. All right, I gotta start asking questions. Something new not firing off because of a draw or a pull to something else, perhaps. All right, talk to me about temperance reversed. Talk to me about temperance reversed. Two of Pentacles. Someone's still weighing options. Do I move on or don't I? Give me one more on that. Give me one more on that. Queen of Cups. There's a great deal of emotion and love. Why the two of cups reversed? Death, completion, endings and new beginnings. Something new not kicking off due to a death cycle that is in process. One more. Three of Swords, possibly someone in the situation is still heartbroken. There's something that needs to process. One on the moon. One on the moon. Five of Cups reversed, Eight of Cups reversed, Ace of Pentacles reversed. <clears throat> Unprocessed emotions, a possible return, possibly to receive clarity, because something new is not kicking off. The seed did not grow. Somebody wants to find out why that seed didn't grow. All right, talk to me about why. What's the four cups reversed? King of Wands. Sexual energy. Nine of Pentacles. 
Possibly a cup was ignored or not taken. Somebody was independent. Maybe somebody was just all about the booty. I don't know. Six of Wands. They just wanted attention. Huh. Okay. Why the Fool reversed? Talk to me about the Fool reversed. This is somebody not wanting to jump. Hesitation, fear. Hesitation and fear. Five of Wands reversed, world reversed, something was left hanging out there to avoid conflict. Somebody was afraid to jump. One more. Judgment. Possibly somebody had to return to something else to resurrect something else. Give me one on this Knight of Swords. Five of Swords reversed. Six of Swords. Honest conversation took place. Some kind. There was a defeat. Somebody left with their tail between their legs. Moved on. Okay. So somebody bounced out of fear. Possibly a cup was rejected because the, somebody didn't know what was in a cup and there wasn't much in a cup except a rod or two or six. Something was left hanging out there. A burden was not released. So something new can't kick off because there's still a pull. There's still a connection. Something's got to be cleaned up here. Something's got to be processed. All right, talk to me about this. Sorry about that. It's the alarm clock. As soon as I finish this one, I gotta go wake up a kid. Talk to me about the Three of Pentacles. Talk to me about this Three of Pentacles. Talk to me about this Three of Pentacles. Seven of Wands, Knight of Wands. Of course, the Wands. Taking charge, standing up, defeating inner demons. Taking the chance. Taking the leap. Riding in rods and sap saddles blazing. King of Cups. To match the queen. Someone possibly admitting to having just enough emotion or that emotion was there. One more. Will of the year upright. Someone coming in to finish up some business. Try to cooperate. Admit to feelings. They've battled the inner demons of self-doubt. They want to come together. It, even if it's not like a romantic situation or a couple coming back together, it's a cooperation or friendship. But somebody's got to be let in out of the cold. So what do you do with that? Talk to me about this Five of Pentacles reversed. The crossroads. Ability to let go of the rod of the past and move toward the future. Knight of Pentacles moves slowly into something. The giving or receiving of an apology. Temperance upright at the bottom of the deck where it was once reversed. 
where for a time it will be reversed. Positive energy, positive flow, patience, something coming together, sunshine and rainbows and all that happy stuff. All right. It's going to be a process. Uh, okay. I apologize. I'm not ready. Give me a crystal power. Give me a crystal power. Alright. Gotta wake it up. Give me a second. Crystal power. None of my decks have had coffee this morning either. I'm still working on my first cup. Three of Wands. I have the energy I need to realize my goals. Those ships are coming in. The ships that left the dock are returning. What do you do with them? Two of Swords, whatever I decide, I trust in the outcome. And you have to learn to trust yourself. Part of the issue here was you know, avoidance of conflict, being afraid to jump. Nine of Swords, I trust the present moment. Trust the now. The past cannot be unwritten. The future is not yet written. Trust the now. Justice at the bottom, I speak my truth in fairness to myself. You gotta be fair to yourself. Okay. Wisdom Oracle. Why chop wood treasure island? Three plus one is four. Why number thirty one? Three plus one is four. Chop wood number forty six. Four plus two is six. Stability, quality, divinity. Number nine treasure island divinity. Okay. Talk to me about why. There's a gr <clears throat> there's great power in understanding your motives right now. The oracle asks you to be very clear about why you're asking this question looking for this answer, behaving this way, and, most important, making this choice. Knowing your why is the key to fulfillment. When you are clear about it, your intention will then be a magnet for miracles. Motives define the nature of your experience. When you think about something, feel it, and then act on it. This invisible why is the life force energy within the seed, which brings it to life and holds the potential for growth. Chop wood, number 42.
There are times when the big dream is meant to lie dormant in your consciousness so that you can pay attention to the simple chores in life. Consider why pruning a tree is the forerunner of delighting in the beautiful blooms when it is in full blossom. The mundane act of pulling off dead leaves, watering the soil, and then le leaving it to leaving it be to let nature take its course is an important step in manifestation. Taking your attention away from your goals will bring you into a state of receptivity. This is the deeper purpose of realizing attachment. When you engage in everyday tasks in a meditative, contemplative way, you clear your energy to receive your aha moments, which bring you even closer to what you seek. Number nine, Treasure Island. You've worked hard and acted upon your unwavering belief in, abund in, uh, in abundance and suddenly in the midst of it all, you hit the jackpot. You have uncovered the map to buried treasure and tapped the unlimited potential within you. You must hone now. What you must hone now is your ability to recognize when X marks the spot because some of these golden opportunities may be obvious, but others may not be so readily apparent. Trust your intuition to light your way now as you enter this truly prosperous phase where all the long hard work navigating your inner life is now paying off externally in all aspects of your life at this time you have good fortune don't forget to enjoy it and share it with others as treasure shared multiplies like magic Archangel Michael. Give us a prayer, friends. Archangel Michael. You created this situation and you have the power to change it. Thank you for letting me lean on your strength and for reminding me of my personal power. Please guide me to manifest and heal according to divine will, creating peace and blessings for everyone involved. All right, Cancer. Thanks for coming by and hanging out. Peace, love, and light. And I'll catch you guys in the next.